Yo, this is Ryan Clinton, the Hip Hop Hercules, the Hip Hop Historian, and I'm here to review Lupe Fiasco's new album entitled Tetsuo and Youth. Let's get a review. What's up? There are a lot of beautiful qualities to the sound of this album. The female sampling is strong throughout. The piano beats are quick and perfectly matched up with the drum tracks. A few of the jazzier beats, though, don't stand out as anything special. The experimental keyboard, synths, banjo, and harmonica use make for boring and somewhat irritating instrumentals. The violin interludes with laughter and surround sound effects are strong and very original to hip-hop. This is the Lupe going back to the more metaphorical and poetic side, as opposed to the straightforward, politically charged MC he was on the last album. With this poetic attitude, he describes the world he sees and what he would like to see. He does but does not only touch upon racial and political issues, but also touches on dozens of other social issues, including women's rights, the lack of true contemporary art, drug use, day-to-day -day fear of the average person, and prison, etc., with the spilled-in deep meanings and lessons, there is also a lot of leftover rambling and songs written without strong purpose. The three-portion idea using seasons is extremely clever, winter being the most meaningful. I'd say about 60% of the tracks have strong conceptual ideas that are fluent from start to finish, but the remainder is sort of lost in the wind. His flow is pretty decent. He spits mostly quick, keeps end bars tight, and rhymes the two to three words most lines. Recently, he has been using end words to rhyme just to make the line work, simple or not. But on this tape, he really pulled out the thesaurus and went hard on the intelligent writing and elegant swiftness. He does not come up successful on many of his personally sung choruses, as it seems they were written maybe to be bridges, but not used four to five times a track. The production is less rap than it is jazzy pop with hip-hop drums incorporated. This album cannot be compared to another Lupe album, but then again, not a single one of his albums is very similar to another. This tape is better than Lasers, almost at par with the Friend of the People mixtape, but nowhere near the cool or food and liquor one and two parts. If you are a hip-hop fan who doesn't like to listen to a track a few times over to understand the majority of the bars and overall meaning, this album is not for you. For fans of modern beats and decent written poetry type lyrics, buy this tape.